Welcome. Okay. We're giving it a second for people to get the message and to connect. So you can see I've shaved, I'm cleanly shaved, ready for the good times. Alright, let's see what I've done here. Hello, Harley. Okay, so today it's throat chakra. We're working a bit with um, creativity and with expressing ourselves. It's been five weeks, well, it's been four weeks, it's the fifth week of the quarantine, so it's, it's important to make sure that we stay creative, that we stay expressive, and that we also keep listening. The throat is about listening rather than talking, 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 and that's where we get all the wisdom, by listening. I spend a lot of time in silence. Mondays are my silent days. Um, now I get to just sit in my balcony and ponder and be quiet. And there's a lot of wisdom to get from that. There's also a lot of tanning to get from that. <laughs> All right. So we'll start right away. We'll start with some very cool drills that are about the neck. These are great exercises to release any tension in the upper back, in the, the back of the neck, in the neck in general. Uh, especially now that we're um, sitting all the time, maybe we're a bit stressed, so we accumulate a lot of tension here. So this will be some nice exercises. There it says that, in fact, I've learned from my teacher, Karina Mirsky, and shout out to her. These are amazing uh, for anyone who has any neck pain and especially for me nowadays because it's been uh, some intense weeks with all the practice, I get to indulge in these exercises when I feel that uh, I have a lot of tension here. So we'll get right into it and then if people join later, they can join later, they can also watch everything on YouTube. Later, maybe you're watching this on YouTube, so shout out to you too. You want to sit up comfortably, sit on a chair if you want to, because we'll be here for the first like five, ten minutes. So you want to feel comfortable. If sitting cross-legged is for you, sit cross-legged. If you prefer a kneeling position, do that. If you want to place something under your hips, do that. It's nice always to have a little lift at the back of the pelvis so that it helps us find an anterior pelvic tilt and we don't end up just crouching forward, especially now that we want to extend and work with the neck. So sit in front of your sits bones, whether you're on a chair, on the ground or on a cushion. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. And we'll start right away with bringing our chin down and then lifting our chin up. Slow movements, maybe already this feels like too much. Maybe it's easy, but stay in that place of observing what's happening, witnessing. As I already said, the throat is more about listening rather than talking. So listen so that you learn more. The color is blue, so if you're a visual person, you can close your eyes or you can leave your eyes soft. Visualize a blue color at the center of the throat. A blue bright light there. The Bijam mantra is HAM. H U M, HAM. Quite an open A. HAM. So you can just listen to the center of the throat saying HAM, HAM, at any pace that works for you. And then you'll find your head erect. Remember what we were saying the previous times about this muscle connecting the clavicle with the back of the scalp. You want to lengthen it, so really reach up through the back of the scalp. And we'll get right into it. So bring your right hand under your right um, clavicle. Press the skin in and then pull the skin down. 
and then pull the skin to the right. So you're moving the skin away from the neck. Then you use the left hand on top just to help the right pull the skin down and to the right. Turn your gaze to the left, soft gaze or close your eyes and then diagonally lift the head up. Throughout these exercises you want to keep reminding yourself to pull the shoulders back and pull the shoulder blades down. Keep the chin lifting up, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw and inhale deeply. Exhale completely. You can experiment a bit and be a bit creative and look for that sweet spot and once you find that sweet spot keep breathing there. And exhaling, feeling that blue light getting stronger and more and more comforting. We'll slowly let go of the skin and bring our head back to center. Move our left hand under our left collarbone, clavicle, and then bring the right hand on top. Pull the skin down and away from the neck. Reach the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and turn your gaze to the right and diagonally up. Again, look for that sweet spot. Maybe you'll need to move a bit until you find where it works for you. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, and breathe. A comfortable breath, and again, if you're visual, you can visualize a blue comforting light at the center of the throat. If you're more of an audio type, listen to the sound of hum at the center of the throat. Use your breath to comfort that space even more and slowly release the skin, bring your head back to center. Turn your right ear towards the right shoulder, but move the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down so the shoulders do not move, it's the head that moves. Push with the ear, so reach down with the ear and then keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and place your right hand on top of everything. Keep your right hand there and then push with the head. Keep the muscle of the face relaxed, but just keep pushing with your head. The more you push with the head, the more you'll feel it. The hand is not pushing, it's just resisting, and then the head is pushing a lot. Breathe into the left neck. Keep the muscles of the face relaxed, the shoulder blades down, relax, inhale deeply into the left neck. Exhale completely, maybe push a bit more with the head. And then allow the head to come back to center. Sit up tall, relax the muscles of your face. Other side. So remember, the shoulders are back, the shoulder blades down, and the left ear reaches for the left shoulder. The shoulder does not reach for the ear, just the ear goes down. Once you feel that you found your edge, place the left hand on top of everything. Reach the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, and push up with the head. Keep the muscles of the face relaxed, and inhale deeply into the right neck. Exhale completely, feel the comfort of that blue light. Push a bit more with the head, inhale. Exhale, keep pushing, push more. The hand does not push, it just resists. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Good job. Slowly release. So you just tell the hand to allow the head to come up the head was already going into that direction. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Stay strong with your seat and turn your gaze to the right. Turn your head to the right. Now, once you find your limit, remember you want the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, the chest is proud. Then you place the right hand against the left cheek and you push with the head against the hand. The hand is there just like a wall and then you're just pushing with the head. Breathe into that blue light. Push 
push more. Keep the face relaxed. One more deep breath. On complete exhale. And then slowly tell the hand to let the head back, come back to center. Sit still for a second. Keep listening. Even if there's silence, listen to that silence. There's a lot of wisdom there. And we'll turn our head to the left. Left hand against the right cheek. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Reach up to the back of the skull and push with the head against the hand. Inhaling to that bright blue light. Exhale slowly. Push more. Listen to hum. center, sit up tall, the element of the throat chakra is space, so keep noticing the space occupied by your throat, the space occupied by your body. Bring your chin down again, and this time move all the way to the right so that the ear comes close to the shoulder, but the shoulder stays down, and then inhale, come back to center. And exhale, move to the left. And then back to center, and to the right. Find length through the left neck, and back to center, and to the left, and find the length through the right to center, back to the right, center, and left, and back to center, pick up the head, bring your index and middle fingers to your chin, keep reaching up through the back of the skull, relax your gaze, you want to Use the index and middle fingers to put some more pressure against the chin as you open the mouth long and then wide. So at your own pace, open the mouth long, use the fingers to press a bit more. And then widen the mouth. And press with the fingers. Close the mouth and repeat another four times. Go slow. Sit up still. Last exercise. This time the fist will be pushing the head and the head will be resisting. You want to bring the chin down, shoulders back, roll the shoulder blades down back. Place the fist against your forehead. And what you want is to keep the chin tucked onto the chest as you push up with the fist. And then we'll take three lion's breaths. But first, find this position. Find length through the back of the neck. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale into the back of the neck. Exhale. And we'll do three lion's breaths, sticking the tongue out for the exhale to make a hissing sound. So inhale.
Keep pressing with the fist. Two more. Inhale. Last one. Allow the head to come back to center as the fist pushes. Sit up tall. And listen to your body, listen to what's happening. Stillness has all the answers. We'll now get to be a bit more flowy for a bit. I encourage you to be intuitive. You don't have to stick to what I'm doing, how I'm showing it. We're basically going for uh, a flow that will get us to sun salutations and then we'll go to sun salutations. We want the hands to be under the shoulders, the knees to be under the hips, and we start waking up the spine. Feeling the space occupied by the spine and reaching for more space every time. Spacing between the vertebrae, but also space for the vertebrae to discover. You can exhale and traditionally curl the tailbone under, pull the belly in, push into the hands, bring the chin in, push hands forward, knees back, and then uncurl as you inhale, keep the lower belly in, the chest proud, pull the shoulder blades down the back, and then pull back with the hands, push forward with the knees. And again, exhale and round the back, starting with the pelvis and rounding up and inhale and uncurl and open up if you need more breaths for each movement take more breaths just be conscious of your breath and move with the breath even if it takes more than a breath to cover one movement so this is where we get a bit creative you want to inhale and push your chest forward, pull the shoulder blades down, pick up the chin, and exhale, round the back, push with the hands, and go all the way back to child's pose, reach the hands a bit further forward, inhale forward, slide through, go to your variation of a cobra pose, of a back bend of your choice, and exhale, press into the hands, and reach the hips back, inhale, slide forward again, Cobra or upward facing dog and exhale back down dog or child's pose and inhale slide forward explore your body feel what's happening with the hips and exhale low medium downward facing dog second chakra hips are always are also connected to creativity and more animalistic creativity so we will bring one leg up, bend the knee, and rotate the knee around to explore our hip uh, range of motion. You can go in with the knee and out, up with the knee and back. And then you can extend the leg once you feel a bit more comfortable and draw circles with the leg straight. Then you can inhale and come forward with the leg lifting up, maybe a straight leg, maybe a bent leg, and exhale, come back. And again, inhale to a plank position with the leg, right leg up, and back. And then knee in, knee to nose, keep the belly in, push into the hands, and come back. And maybe bring the knee in and to the left to twist here, and then come back. Be a bit more creative with your hip and then we'll try the other side there's no rules just exploring the hip range of motion be creative so bend the knee first if you want to just to 
go in all directions and then straighten the leg and discover the range of motion of your leg. No rules, just be intuitive. And what we'll do there is maybe leg straight, maybe bend knee, come forward to a plank and back. And again, inhale forward and back. Inhale into chest to chin, push and back. And go for a twist and a variation. And back. Good. Play a bit more. And then bring your feet to the mat, bend the knees, gaze forward, walk or hop forward, half lift and exhale, fold over the legs. Press the feet down and inhale, rise up, reach up, back bend even if you want to, and exhale, arms by your sides. Close your eyes, stand still, and listen. Bring your hands to your throat in any way you'd like to. Palms touching the throat, the front, the back of the throat. Just bring your awareness there. Color blue. We will chant Ham three times. Just like chanting at home. Press down into the feet, reach up through the back of the skull, stack up all the energetic centers, and inhale for Ham. Relax the muscles of your body. Press your feet down, reach up through the back of the skull. Feel an engagement of your deep core muscles, lifting out through the pelvic floor, sucking lower belly in, lifting up, keeping the ribcage closed, lifting up, and keep those engagements throughout your flow to keep your body strong. Be as intuitive as you'd like. What I'm saying now are just suggestions. Press feet down, inhale, bring the arms up, reach up, back bend even. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lift the chest, pull the shoulder blades down. And exhale, float back. Inhale, slide forward, back bend, press feet down. Exhale, push back. We're not stopping. Inhale, the right foot forward. The left heel on the ground and exhale push the hips even further forward pull the belly and pick up the chest move the hands towards the left foot and then exhale come to the other side pull the belly in press the back ball the foot down inhale lift up lift the right heel up and exhale twist to the left Inhale, pick up the chest, open up the arms. And exhale, come back to the ground. Pull the belly, bring the right knee down. Push the hips forward, inhale, pick up the chest, the chin. 
and exhale, maybe come down to the elbows, maybe open up the hip to the left. Pull the belly in, come back to center, walk the hands in, straighten the back leg, and then exhale, walk to the front of the mat again. Come down with the left knee. Inhale, pick up the arms, the chest, back bend, and exhale, bring your hands to the ground, press the right foot down, come forward, fold. Inhale, rise up, keep the belly, pick up the chest, the chin, cactus the arms if you want to, and exhale, fold down right away. You can interlace the arms behind the back. Inhale, half lift, keep reaching back through the arms, up through the chest, and exhale, hands to the ground, float back, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward, press the feet down, pick up the chest, and exhale, back, push back. Inhale, the left foot forward, the right heel down, keep the belly in, and then push forward, pick up the chest, lateral stretch to the right, walk the hands to the right, bring the right hand down, and then inhale, lateral stretch to the left. Exhale, come to the back of the mat, straighten the right leg, pyramid fold, and inhale, pick up the chest, the chin. Exhale, fold, come to the other side, front side, straighten the legs, pyramid fold, and inhale, pick up the chest, the chin. And exhale, hands to the ground, pull the belly in, plank position. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward, cobra, or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, gaze forward, inhale, upward, up forward, half lift. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, rise up, reach up, cactus the arms. And exhale, hands by your sides. Take a breath here. Find stillness again, find silence. Right leg at forward folds. Inhale, right foot to the right. Open up. Pick up the chest, the chin. And exhale, keep the chest proud, the chin lifted as you fold down. Bring the hands to the ground. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin. And exhale, we'll round the back. So bring the chin in. Use the hands to round it even more. Take five breaths into your throat. Press outer feet down. Keep rounding in. Keep the legs straight. Imagine like you're trying to get the crown of your head in between the legs. Two more breaths. And one. Keep the legs straight. Press outer feet down. Suck lower belly. Inhale. Pick up the chest, the chin. And exhale, stay here, listen to the throat center, press the feet down, inhale, rise up, keep the throat center wide and long. Exhale, hands on your hips. Inhale, bring the arms wide open, straighten the arms, internally rotate the arms, and bring your arms behind the back. Maybe you grasp onto opposite elbows, or you find pyramid uh, sorry, you find reverse prayer with your hands. So you want this internal rotation with the shoulders and then press hands together to push the chest open. Inhale, pick up the chest, the chin. And exhale, fold this time, gazing forward, 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 forward. So keep gazing quite forward as you fold down. Feel that stretch of the chest and feel like you're contracting the back of the throat. Lengthen the front of the throat and breathe there.
press out of feet down, inhale, come up, all the way up. Interlace the fingers from prayer hands or bring your arms down if you're grabbing elbows and clasp the palms together. And then from there, reach back through the hands, open up the chest, pick up the chin and exhale, fold. This time we're bringing the chin in again. So chin in, crown of the head towards the legs and reach back through the hands. Lengthen the back of the neck and breathe. Keep reaching back through the hands, forward to the crown of the head, inhale into the back of the neck. Two more breaths. Sucking the lower belly in helps you to bring the crown of the head closer to the center of the legs. Keep pressing outer feet down, keep reaching the hands back. And one, press feet down, inhale, come up, all the way, hands to the hips. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, reach down, grab the big toes. Inhale, reach the chest, the chin forward, and exhale, Grab with the hands, reach up with the elbows, reach down with the head. So really lengthen the neck front and back for five. Four. Three. Two. Press into the feet, inhale, pick up the chest, the chin, lengthen the neck. Exhale, stay here. Focus at the throat center, inhale, come up, hands to hips. And exhale, come to the front of the mat in a Tadasana mountain pose. Focus at the throat. Relax all the mental chatter and listen to what's whispering rather than to what's shouting. What's going on below all the stories? To the mat. If you're going to do rabbit, you want to really focus on rounding the back. Crown of the crown of the head on the ground, round the back. Then you can stay with the hands as a support, or you can press the head down, round the back, reach the arms back. You can even bend the knees and grab the feet, tops of the feet, so that you reach the feet to the hips. Keep rounding the back, keep pressing the head down. If you're comfortable in headstand, then you can interlace the fingers, keep the elbows shoulder width apart, press down into the head again. Feel like the elbows are pushing towards one another, as if they have a magnet that attracts one another. And then that helps you to use the strength of your neck, pressing the head down, pressing the elbows down and inwards. You can again stay here, or if you want to, you can lift the hips. If you want to, you can walk in. You can stay here or you can lift up. Again, the, the wall is always an option, but we preferably want to be stable. So if you're not very stable in headstand, it's up to you if you want to do it, but you're welcome to keep the feet down, keep focusing at the throat. Close your eyes, bring all of your focus at the throat center, to the color blue, at the sound of Hamu, at the space there. Mm -hmm. 
be as still as possible. Keep pressing the head down. Keep focusing at the throat center. Keep listening. If you're comfortable in your headstand, you can open up your legs in straddle position. So open up the legs wide and then turn your legs around into splits and into a uh, twist and then open up back to straddle and then turn your legs around just like a helicopter to the other side. Do it a couple of times and then come down slowly. So wherever you are, find child's pose. Relax your forehead on the ground, send your sit bones back. Relax your arms. Focus at the throat center. Vitarita Karani. Turn around to lying face up. If you're not familiar with Vitarita Karani, watch first. An option is to go straight to Vitarita Karani, otherwise from bridge. From bridge it might actually be harder, but it will get you to the right curve. So finding a bridge pose, you want to walk the elbows in, Walk the shoulders in, then place your hands under your sacrum. So the palms are supporting the um, lower back. That point that's at the height of the top of your butt crack. That's where we are. And then from here, we bring one knee up, and then the other knee up, and then we straighten the legs, pointing the feet and the toes are at eye level. So when I'm gazing up, I'm gazing straight at my toes. If um, you want, you can do this pose against the wall. So you can place something under your hips and roll onto it and have your legs at the wall. Otherwise, you can always stay in a bridge pose. Another way to enter is from Halasana. So reaching your legs back first, you place your hands on the lower back, on the sacrum, keep the elbows in, the shoulders in, and then you uncurl the tailbone. So this is very important. We don't want posterior pelvic tilt. We want anterior pelvic tilt, which is why bridge pose helps us get there. So I have my body in bridge and my legs up. If you're comfortable here, close your eyes. If you're not comfortable here, you are welcome to go for traditional shoulder stand or simply legs up the wall. Having something under your pelvis is preferable so you uncurl the tailbone and you find this position with the legs up the wall. And then you can close your eyes and focus at the throat. You're comfortable with Ujjaya breath. Contract the lower part of your throat and make an ocean-like sound. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Two more breaths in Vitarita Karani. And then to come out, 
you can bring the legs overhead that's probably easier or you can scissor the legs and bring one foot down once it touches down bring the other foot down and find bridge pose and then lower down upper back middle back and lower back to the ground stretch your arms overhead interlace your fingers but turn your palms around so that they're facing the other way than your head extend your legs point the feet and inhale reach your way through palms and through tippy toes exhale push even more up through the hands push away through the feet inhale here hold the breath and sit up and exhale fall forward forward fold five breaths in forward fold keep your lower belly in the chest crowd the tailbone and curling back. Maybe you're higher, your hands can be on the ground. Just relax your head and think of the crown of the head reaching forward so that the neck is long. Fish pose, chest forward, chin up. If you're comfortable with the legs uh, in lotus, you can find lotus legs. Otherwise, straighten the legs. And then slowly come down onto your elbows and use your hands to open up the chest, pick up the chin. You can stay here with the palms on the ground, allow the head to rest back, or you can walk the hands in place the head on the ground and maybe grab onto the feet. If your legs are straight, it's the same position. You can lift the hips, cross the thumbs to walk the elbows in, sit on top, release the feet, the, hip, the thumbs, straighten the legs, pick up the chest and again release the head. Head can hover or crown on the ground. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Breathe deeply, fill up the lungs with air, the collarbones with air. And we'll take three deep lion's breaths. Inhale. Exhale, stick the tongue out, make a hissing sound. Two more. Stay in the position, breathe, breathe naturally. You can stay on a couple of more breaths more. When you're ready, press hands and elbows down to lift the head and unroll it down. Tuck your chin in to lengthen the neck and release your arms by your sides, the feet to the sides. Inhale into the lower belly. And exhale, press the lower back onto the ground. Really press it, posterior pelvic tilt even. Inhale into the lower belly. And exhale again. Press the lower back onto the ground. Think of the pubis lifting up. Last one. Open the mouth, exhale, let go. Allow the whole body to relax. The throat muscles to relax. See that bright blue light at the center of your throat. Keep your eyes closed, keep the body still and motionless for the next few moments. Just stay with that blue light at the center of the throat. Allow every inhale to make that light brighter. 
and allow every exhale to take away with it anything that the throat is choking on. Inhale more blue light into the throat center. And exhale away any discomfort, any blockage there. Allow your whole body to relax, allow your awareness to stay at the center of the throat and stay still, motionless for the next couple of minutes. Be with your throat center and stay receptive. Listen to everything that might come up without any preference, no judgment. And do not allow anything to take you away. Stay here, stay with your throat. Watch that blue, comforting, liberating light. And stay receptive to anything that might come up. gently bring your awareness back to the space occupied by your body back to that blue, blue bright light Watch as every inhale polishes that light and as every exhale takes that light to the whole of your body. Inhale and allow the whole body to brighten up and exhale for the whole body to feel strong. From that strength, inhale and start finding movement through your fingers, through your toes. And pulling your breath, still moving your head from side to side. Noticing how your neck is feeling, noticing how your upper back is feeling, noticing how your head, your brain, are feeling. Inhale your arms overhead, really reach long through the arms, reach long through the legs. And exhale again, you can press lower back into the ground, find a posterior pelvic tilt, tone the whole body. Inhale and bring your hands to your knees, your knees to your chest. And then rock from side to side. If you need to be a bit intuitive again, be my guest. Do any last movement you need to do before slowly finding your way in a seated position. No need to open the eyes. Just when you're ready, use your arms, use your decor and come up with control, sit up tall.
finish the practice with um, alternate nostril breathing. Bring index and middle fingers to your eyebrow center. Press there. Exhale through both nostrils. And then we'll use the right thumb to block the right nostril and inhale through the left for five, four, three, two, one. Switch, block the left and exhale through the right. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay in right. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch out left. Five, four, three, two, one. In left. Five, four, three, two, one. Out right. Five, four, three, two, one. In right. Awareness at the throat center. Sit still. Kaya stira. Observe. Listen. to the yoga sutras. Yoga must be practiced every day for a long period of time. That's how we attain that state of separation from all the suffering, from all the illusion. That's how we find our happiness, our health. So every day, take some time to listen, to sit still, to watch so that you know what works for you, what doesn't work for you, so that you get some answers and so that you connect with your wisdom. And take a last deep inhale from the root all the way up to the crown of the head. And we'll exhale through the nose this time to allow the practice to find its place in every little cell of our body. Bring your hands to heart center. Allow your head to bow down to the hands. Good job everyone. Strong practice today, even if it was seemingly different and maybe less physically challenging. A lot of good work was done today. So we keep it up. The light, the truth inside me, honors and celebrates the light, the truth inside you. Namaste. Feel free to stay a bit longer in a meditative position now that you're a bit quieter, now that you're listening. Have a beautiful afternoon, evening, or whatever it is where you are, and I'll see you again when I see you again. Thank you.